to begin tonight in the city of Columbia, where they're one of the first places in the state to mandate the COVID-19 vaccine for, vaccine for employees. Now, by November 1st, they expect most employees to have gotten the shot. News 19's Julia Kaufman has the latest from the city manager. November 1st is a very important date for Teresa Wilson. I don't want us to get to the point where um, we're having to terminate any employees due to a policy. I want to work with everyone to get us there, but we've got to get there. She says city council voted to mandate the shot to keep essential public services running and safe. We have had definite um, issues with individuals having to be quarantined because they had COVID or been exposed to it. Um, and and you know, the most impactful um, thing, which I guess I naively said at the beginning of this, that I would hope that we have no employee deaths as, a, as related to COVID, but we've had four. Wilson says all four employees that passed away were in different departments. Since announcing the mandate, the number of vaccinated employees has jumped from around 50% to 72. She says 70% of the police department is vaccinated and the fire department is at 55%. My goal is to work in a way that honors um, the mandate that council is expecting, but also tries to um, work and protect the employment of, of my team and of our employees at the city. The city is incentivizing vaccines with $500 for employees. Wilson says if they reach a high percentage, she may allow unvaccinated employees to keep their jobs if they follow other safety guidelines. This week, we started mandatory testing for our, of our unvaccinated employees. Um, so they have to be tested weekly and that will continue. Wilson adds that they expect some religious and medical exemptions to come in, but hope most of their employees will be vaccinated by November 1st when she issues the new policy and guidelines. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.